Okay, so we've all seen the video of the Japanese TV show talking about how to fold a t-shirt. And it's really cool, but you kind of need to know some origami and how to speak Japanese. You can point and laugh. I'm sure he's used to that. Using faith like an acrobat till the net breaks. He won't get upset. Though we never met, I know everything he said because a friend told me. So today, instead of teaching you how to speak Japanese, I'm going to show you how to fold shirts and pants and a sweatshirt. Um, I'm going away for a two-week trip to the Nationals in Kansas City, and like I told you before. And uh, we have to pack lightly. We only get one bag and we're already getting charged for that bag so we need to pack extra light so we don't have a second bag and an additional fee um, plus I don't really want to carry any clothes in my carry-on so I need to fit everything I need into that bag so what we're going to do is fold a shirt like this nice and small jeans like this and a sweatshirt like this. So they're all compact. They all fit in if you had to take them backpacking or something. Um, and it's really, really simple. And there's some cool tricks along with it, too. So, first thing we're going to do is the shirt. Now, my shirt's inside out, of course, because it just came out of the wash. And we want it to end up looking like this, actually. It should be looking kind of smaller, like this. So, we take our shirt, regular t-shirt, here, let me move this back. Take our shirt, and we fold it in half. Okay, simple going to take the sleeve and fold it over onto the chest. So it's one big strip. Now, we don't fold it one, two. We don't fold it three trisections. We're going to fold it in half once. You fold it. So it's like that. And you've got the bottom right here. I'm going to fold it like that. And then we're going to fold it in half again. So it's a nice little square. You're going to have the neck part right there right in there and then you're going to have the design which is most likely on the chest plate right there so you can tell which shirt it is see quick simple easy compact thin all right so now we're going to move on to jeans we've got a whole big pair of jeans right and we want to make them this big so you take your jeans and you put the legs together, right? Just like that. And you're going to pull the crotch so that it makes a triangle. And you're going to make sure that it goes smoothly all the way down and makes one big clean line. You're going to fold them in half, okay? So that the top of the pants meets the bottom of the leg, right? Cool. We're going to fold it over again in half, same way. So it's going to be square. There's the top of the pants, and that's the back. And then what we're going to do is we don't want all this stuff sticking out, the pocket and stuff, because what if it gets caught on something, you know, it just looks weird. So we're going to fold it in on itself. And it makes a nice, clean, compact little thing that Martha Stewart would be proud of. Cool? Yeah, cool. And it saves space. It's like really small. So that's that. Now my favorite one is the sweatshirt. This is my sweatshirt, green Hollister sweatshirt. It's a hoodie. It's got a hood on it. Um, part of the trick that we're going to do requires a hood. If you don't have a hood on it, um, something like this sweatshirt I'll show you how to do just that too. 
So you're going to zip up the sweatshirt um, almost all the way, except for like three inches. Hold on. Almost all the way. <laughs> so there's like that much left, right? That much zipper. And you're going to take it and take the hood, right? The hood is in back right now. We want it around the front. So it's like that. You're going to take your fingers and pinch on right where the hood ends and the shoulder begins. You're going to pinch there and fold over so that it makes a nice big rectangle that you can't really see. You can see it better this way. See, it makes like a rectangle. So we do that. And it's all nice and folded. We fold it over halfway so it's like that. Most people would be happy with just that, right? It's kind of sloppy. It will fall apart if it's in your bag like that. Um, this is a trick that I learned from Hollister. Now, you could do it just like that if you don't have a hood, but um, I just like it better with the hood. So, take the hood, right? Here, I'll do it this way. You take your hood, and you lift it up and put it in back, okay? That's not the trick. You're going to zip up the zipper the rest of the way. This is the reason we lift the three inches. You zip it up the rest of the way so it's all the way zipped up. You take the hood and you fold it over, right? So you have it like that. You take it and fold it over on the other side. And then you're going to take the back of the hood and fold that over too. Now you've got it all in one nice little compact thing. And you take the drawstrings right there. And you just pull them. And it makes one nice little compact little hoodie, which is cool. Um, and it's really neat because if you need a pillow and you're in like the back of a car or on a train or something, uh, I've done it a lot on the train and been able to have a pillow for me just for a little bit. You might be a little cold, but you got a pillow. It's cool. Then you tie a knot right there at the end, right there. And it's all set, ready to go. You can throw it around, it won't come undone. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, we recap. We've got a day's worth of clothing right here. All you need is socks, shoes, and underwear. I can show you how to fold underwear, but it's kind of self explanatory. Take the underwear, fold it in half, fold it in half again fold in half again, and it's really small. So, day's worth of clothing, all in one nice little cubic foot, which is really cool, and it makes it really, really easy to pack for a trip. And I just realized that there's one packing trip uh, tip that I didn't give you. Um, when you're packing shoes, if you have a lot of shoes because you're a woman, or you have dress shoes and then sneakers and then tennis shoes and then walking shoes or running shoes or shoes for the gym um, or sandals especially um, if you have a lot of shoes what you're going to want to do to save space is to take your sneaker this is an old sneaker of mine and you're going to fold in this side right so it's like that and then you're going to fold in this side too same way so it's nice and flat and you're going to take this shoe and match it up to this shoe. Now you can probably fold this down too, I just didn't think to do that. Do it to both sneakers and it should end up coming out like that. Which is really nice and compact and it's like the size of one sneaker. Which is cool! Which is really neat. Um, throw on your socks and you've got a whole day for clothing which is pretty helpful. So I hope this video helped you. Helped you. Um, I certainly love knowing all these skills, and I love knowing how to pack for a trip. So I hope you do too.